Greetings, my saplings. All right, so in today's video, we are going to be discussing the Undefeated and Adidas collaboration. So specifically, like always in these videos, we will be mentioning, of course, some release info, how to cop them, and at the end of the video, for those of you who do care, some resale predictions. So to kick it off with some release info, there will be a total of four shoes releasing in this collaboration. The first shoe releasing will be an all black Ultra Boost with white undefeated branding going across the upper. In addition to that, we also have undefeated branding on the insole and on the tongue. Now we also have a white Ultra Boost that is almost exactly the same, just reversed in regards to the colors where we have the black writing instead of the white writing, and then we have the white upper. Then you still have that undefeated branding on the insole as well as on the tongue. Moving on to the two other shoes, we have two Adi Zero 3s. The first one is going to be all black with beige, or I guess you could say it's like tannish, Adidas branding, and the only undefeated branding on this shoe is going to be on the tongue as well as on the tongue on the insole. Now there is one more releasing and this instead of having a black upper with the tan adidas branding the adidas branding is actually translucent and it's very very subtle where you can't really notice it the entire upper of the shoe consists of desert tan and almost like a brown color and it just makes this cool camouflage look to it and in between all of this you have undefeated branding going across the entire upper of the shoe as well as of course on the tongue and on the insole for these shoes now for all four of these shoes, they are all going to be releasing on April 14th. Now the retail for these shoes has yet to be announced. We do not know it as of now. However, I'm speculating that for the Ultra Boost, it should hover around somewhere like $220. For every single store, it might differentiate just a little bit. And then for the other two shoes, I would say that it should circle around maybe $180, somewhere around there. Now for any updates on these shoes, of course, I will be making an updated video. If I can't make an updated video, I'll keep you updated through my Twitter. So feel free to turn on post notifications on for YouTube. Also follow me on Twitter. But not only me, feel free to follow Undefeated on Twitter because I'm sure before me, they will tweet out all the valuable info that you will need. All right, so with the release info, added away for these shoes why don't we talk about how to cop them let's talk about how you can get yourself a pair of one of these four shoes releasing so to my knowledge as of now at least three of these four shoes will be a consortium release where they will not be releasing on adidas.com as of now for instance if you go check the calendar for adidas.com if you check between the 13th and the 15th there are no releases on the 14th and these are supposed to be releasing on the 14th so I'm, I'm thinking, because according to multiple sources as well, these are only supposed to be a consortium release. And that is going to be for both the Adi Zero 3s and in addition to those, the black Ultra Boost. So you might be wondering, okay, well, what about the white Ultra Boost? Well, unfortunately for those, I, I, I hate to say it if you really like these shoes, these are going to be the hardest ones to get. They're going to be extremely, extremely limited, and they're only going to be releasing through undefeated retailers. Now, for the rest of the three shoes, you might be wondering where can I obtain these shoes. So right now, there is no confirmed list. I'll try my best to tweet out a confirmed list with all the links. However, I'm going to give you a list of all the stores that I'm expecting to, I guess, 90% have them that you could check out, maybe set a couple of bookmarks for, so say comes the times for these releases, you know exactly what pages to refresh. So the US only retailers would be UBIQ, Shop Nice Kicks, and that's it. And these will be releasing at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Now for the worldwide retailers, it probably will be Foot Patrol, Foot Shop, Antonioli, Asphalt Gold, Foot District, and the Hip Store, and all of these are going to be releasing at 3 a.m. Eastern Time. I mean, you guys know the deal, like some quick tips on what to do. Make sure you have autofill already set up. In addition to having autofill set up, of course, we want to use Command R on Mac and F5 on Windows to refresh because we want to keep our mouse over the size selection so we don't have to drag it from the circle thing all the way down. It just saves you a couple of seconds and when you're fighting bots, every second does matter. Now, in addition to these stores at 3 a.m. Eastern Time, also at 3 a.m. Eastern Time, I'm sure Soulbox will also be getting these shoes. Now, what Soulbox does, they're actually going to be doing a queue and for the queue, what we like to use is the multiple people because they track your cookies which means they can't IP ban you also through trial and error we figured out that it is a random 
optimized process. So feel free to try the multiple people jig on Soulbox and while you have all your Chrome users running there, feel free to go on all those first come first serves that I just mentioned. And if you're a little confused on what the multiple people jig is, cause I know a lot of you guys commented on my last video, like what's a multiple people jig. Just watch this video right here. It teaches you how to do it on adidas.com, but it's essentially the same exact thing. You just have to transfer your knowledge from there onto Soulbox. So feel free to check this out if you're still a little confused. Also, I forgot to mention at 12 a.m. Eastern time, Mr. Porter usually does a drop. If they don't do a drop at 12 a.m. Eastern time, they usually do a raffle. However, I think that they only ship inside of Europe, which is a little unfortunate for the rest of us. But moving on to 4 a.m. Eastern time, occasionally Reset sneaker stores will get these as well. So feel free to try on there. I believe it will be a first come first serve. And finally on the same date, usually there's an entire separate set of stores that releases these at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And for all the past Adidas releases, I'll give you a list of what it has been. So it should include 43 and Hob, a few store, a like store, BSTN, Cali Roots, Superstore, Suede, The Goodwill Out, Trides, and Overkill. Now, of course, some of these stores might still get them. Some of these stores might not get them. We might get a couple of other new consortium stores that might be getting them. We have no idea. So as we get closer to the release date, I will make an updated video. So feel free to turn on post notifications on for that. And if I can't make an updated video, I will just tweet out all the links on my Twitter because as we get closer to the 14th, it's going to be a really, really hectic day. And someone actually commented on my last video, you should make a video on how to manage your time during the 14th. Because guys, we have so much releasing. We know we have the Easy 500s coming out. We have the Undefeated release. We have the Shadow Ones coming out, and of course, we also have the Off White Vapor Maxes. So I might make a video on how to manage your time for that. I don't know. It might be something that might help you guys. Now, along with all these first come first serve releases, of course, there will be in store releases. I can't give you a list for these because this is stuff that always fluctuates and it's so inconsistent. So if you want to camp out at any of these stores, of course, I will have to make a updated video on that. But moving on, we also have some raffles, and usually the raffles that get these, it's always going to be Slam Jam Socialism, which is actually my favorite because you can make so many entries into that by changing up your email address and a couple of other things that we've talked about in previous videos. Then SNS also does one, and of course we also have End Clothing, which always gets them. Okay, so that will be it for all the stores that will most likely be getting them. I'm almost 90% sure that all those stores will. We might even get some extra stores. Maybe there's a couple that won't, but hyper. Hypothetically, if they do happen to release on Adidas, the first thing you're going to want to keep an eye out for is the Adidas Confirmed app release. So make sure you download the app, of course. And what's going to happen at the beginning of the week, you will be able to sign up. You want to sign up as fast as possible so you don't forget to before it expires. Then comes Wednesday or Thursday at around 4 to 5 p.m. Eastern time. If you're in one of the locations that is getting them, you could also fake your location if you want to do that too and you're willing to make a long drive when you pick up these shoes. But essentially, you just want to make sure that your phone knows that you're in that set location and when they release you will have to answer a captcha question as fast as possible now some tips for this captcha question would be of course make sure you have post notifications on for Yeezy Mafia's Twitter they will tweet out some hints occasionally this is what they've done in the past so make sure you keep an eye out for that as well as that if you are willing to spend a dollar or so I'm not promoting this company at all it's just something that I like to use for a little extra practice it is the L confirmed app they have it so you could keep practicing practicing this CAPTCHA all you want. I find it to be pretty helpful, but I still have yet to take a W on Adidas Confirm, so I'm not really recommending that you spend the money on this, but if a dollar means nothing to you, go right ahead and get some extra practice in. Now, if they get an online release as well, of course, you guys know the deal. We might not know if it's gonna be a waiting room or a first come first serve, because lately, Adidas has been doing waiting rooms for all of their limited releases. The way you can find out, the only time we're able to find out is around 20 minutes before the release, if you use Google Chrome, go to the product page, and this is of course if they even release on adidas.com, go to the product page, then you want to right click or on Mac, touch with two fingers, you will get a little option thing, and you just have to click view page source. After you click that, hit command R. It will give you a little search bar. If you remember this from the Barney's jig, we talked about this. You just want to type in waiting room. 
or you could just even type in waiting and you will see it says waiting room product and it will say true or false. If it says false, then it's a first come first serve. If it says true, that means it is gonna be a waiting room. Now don't go based off of this if it's a day before the release. Again, it is only accurate when it is like 30 minutes before the release or so. And of course, if it is a first come first serve, I mentioned the tips what to do earlier on first come first serves. Along with that, of course, you wanna use the multiple people jig if it happens to be a waiting room. So feel free to check out this video if you don't know what the multiple people jig is. That will conclude the how to cop portion of this video. So briefly, let's talk about some reasons. I think it's kind of obvious right now that the white pair of Ultra Boost are going to have the most resale. One, because the Ultra Boost, the black and white will have the most demand. Not only that, but the white is obviously going to be by far the most limited. So if you have an opportunity to purchase the white ones over any of the other ones, of course, get the white ones. Now, regarding the other three shoes, I would have to say, yeah, I still do think that the black is going to have some decent resale too. I think that all three of these shoes will be rather limited. However, I don't know if there's enough demand on the other two shoes for the amount of profit you'll make after seller fees and shipping on say StockX or GOAT, where it would actually be worth it losing $200 for a couple of weeks, maybe profiting only like $20 or $30. I don't think it's worth it, but you know, that's something that's up to you to decide, but for the black and the white Ultra Boost, I will say go for those for resale if you plan on reselling them, but I'm going to be trying to go for my size because I actually really do like these, and I sold my last two pairs of Ultra Boost and I don't have any, so I would feel really grateful if I could get a pair for myself, but of course I understand a lot of you guys just want to make a quick buck, and that's fair. But with that, I am out of here, guys. If you happen to be new, make sure to subscribe to join this awesome community where we're always trying to help people out. Also, turn on post notifications so you're 100% updated on every single hype to release. Also, if you happen to learn something or if you perhaps enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. With that, I'm out of here, guys. Good luck on this release, and I'll see you guys next time. I should have run the other way. Now there's just one thing to say. Get your foot off my foot. Ah. Get your foot off my foot. Yeah. Get your foot off my foot.